And then there was one. Only one business remains at the all but dead landing downtown as the city moves toward a still unscheduled demolition day. But News 4 Jack's reporter Jim Piggott has learned that some of those departing tenants may not be going without firing a parting legal shot in the direction of City Hall. I want to show you the landing today. Hooters shut down completely. They're no longer here. Finn McCool's closed. All of the small shops inside are closed. Only thing open is Compass Bank inside. It's really quiet here, but some of the former tenants, well, they're ready to make a big noise because they could be suing. We were there as the owners of this clothing store, Accentuate, packed up their boxes and left the landing. They felt cheated and lashed out at City Councilman Reggie Gaffney, who they say made promises to help with funds to relocate that never came true. Gaffney, you need to keep your word. Keep your word. Now the couple is fighting back. They're working with attorney John Phillips, who has requested a huge just, list of city documents to... regarding the landing and the deal made with the businesses. He wants to see what all is behind the city deal with the landing and all of its tenants. I think it's more the lack of information. You know, they say big lump sum payments go into Hooters and big lump sum payments go into, go into Finn McCool's and no payments going to other tenants. And they just, they want to understand that this, this decision had some uh, thought behind it. At this point, Phillips isn't taking any legal action. He's exploring his options and wants to research the records. He understands that the smaller tenants were on a month-to-month -month lease. But he also says promises were made and payouts to others may not add up. He wants to check the city's math. In the past, the mayor's office says they've done everything by the book and have met the obligations to all of those involved. Jim Piggott, Channel 4, The Local Station.